Shin Shinjuku is outside the area where your commuter pass works, right? You have to pay a fare. Hello, welcome back to Persona 5 Royale. We're going to Shinjuku to meet up with the journalist Ayoya. I don't know how to say her name, honestly. It starts with an O or yeah, something. Um, honestly, I said this before, she is useless confidant. Not gonna spend that much time with her. Alright. Whoa, even at night, this place is bright as hell. I guess that's Shinjuku for you. Hey! Stop looking around so much. You look like a tourist. Whoa! Alright, we're just trying to find out the place where we're looking for. Crossroad bar bars right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep going straight. Welcome to our Isiyaka. How about some our all you can drink booze at, at cheap? Wait, you're under age? Is that a problem? Yeah, so you're just a king. Get out of here and get out of the way. The hell? You're the one who was all wanting to talk to us. Hey man, you wanna come play? Touch all you want. No other fees. You're the cutest girls in town too. Tell me more. <laughs> Did you really just ask that? I just know that guy, you idiot, no matter what. Well, you cut a, he's a shady character. I'm not interested. Do you have a moment? No. Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. Oh, oh yeah. We're adults, you see? Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Oh, wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Shit. Now you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run. How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. I excuse me. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Uh, more of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However... If you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. Um, Please be careful. If you might like to read your fortune, I'll be waiting here at this spot at night. And this is Chihaya, the fortune teller. And she is also a confidant. We'll get her later though. We ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. We got caught last time, too. I can't say nothing back. I feel bad, but I'll leave this to you guys. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Welcome, welcome. How old are you, boy? What the hell? She has a voice actor now? I don't mind that. <laughs> this person was silent. He did not, didn't have any voice lines, but now... She has a voice. <laughs> Sorry, Lala-chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Lala-chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Ah, she reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise. I thought you were joking, yet here you are. I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Oh, why that? Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state. 
but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these phantom thieves? <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. It seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. It's a deal then. Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. Yes! All right, we did it. We finally got info on the target. Let's meet up with Ryuji. How'd it go? You nailed it. For real? Awesome. Anyway, we should meet up ASAP. I'll be in front of the movie theater, so head on over. It's the kind of open where area where you pass on your way to the bar. So we just have to go back the way we came, huh? All right, let's go. Ah, oh, and here comes the best part of the game, everyone. Hold on. Hey, hey. Dang it, I can't check out the stores. I want to buy something. Can I buy plants? Mm. Dang it. She, hi, uh, how you doing? The best part of the game here. I heard they changed it. I wonder how they changed it though. Hey! I'm tired of waiting. You get any dirt on the next target? For real? Junya Kanashiro. Hey. Not so loud. <laughs> Junya Kanashiro. And enter. All right. There we go. Okay, now we just gotta get some info on the restoration. Once we know that, it's palace time. Let's try it tomorrow. It'll be better when we have the whole team together. Right, I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. This is totally crazy though. It's a huge catch. I'm pumped. Oh, you're right. He would. He really would be a natural. But a graphic team with a played plants. Ugh, kill me now. Who, who the hell are you guys? <laughs> oh, that has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm Angel, straight from heaven. <laughs> I'm Julian. Julie, if you're really saucy, what a cutie! You, <laughs> you never guess he was into a drag scene. I see. We show him the ropes. You can't deny it. We saw you peeking into crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you look at the vine. Oh, so this is how they changed it. They want to dress him up. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, hey, it's not like that. Dude, help. Tell them we're just investigating or something. Hey! The mission's over. We don't even have any cover anymore. But oh, honey, you got <laughs> the chuda chusa path and those cheekbones. I love it. That's what it takes to be a star. Just follow my lead, stud. We're gonna put your name in lights and I know it's just dress for you. Well, hopefully they reach you find some <laughs> calling or at least and make it out alive So that's how they change it They just make them dress. They want to dress them up. Well, you see in the original they actually liked Ryuji And they like they just adopted him and who knows what they did 
<laughs> because they were much mature in the Vanilla Persona 5 but now they changed it to a toned down version Wanna head back? Oh, so it kind of stereotype, um, stereotype for gays because obviously you could tell those guys are gay and but that was um, that was a different time and now well I maybe even back then it was offensive because it's a stereotype free case and we know that's not actually true how they not all gays are like that so they just made them cross dressers hey there's nothing else to do here all right let's head home for the night all right well bye Ryuji it was nice knowing you did you find any clues? I have a name. You did it. Well then, let's meet at the hideout tomorrow. Understood. We just need to be absent for this conversation. Should we call to him separately? I'm sure I'll figure it out when he checks his phone later. We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. Hey, some girl met, just messaged me saying you told me, you told her about me. She said she interested in me. What's this about? And what kind of girl is Hoyaya Oi, san? Is she cute or is she hot? Ah, uh, you'll see. Don't tease me, I'm gonna lose sleep over this. Hoyaya oh, san. She says she wants to talk to me. How much, much for can a girl get? This coat. <laughs> Is this what I could think it is? Could it be? Yep, good for you. Looks like my time is in the female limelight <laughs> light has finally arrived. It's all thanks to you. I feel like starting the fan site has changed me. Anyway, I can handle this. You introduced me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you. And I'll totally let you know if we end up hooking up. Good luck, Mishima. Well, she is older than you, so I don't know if she'll date a minor. And we cannot do anything. Okay, we can make tools. What's up? What's up? What's up? Let's watch a movie. Oh. Alright, can I go downstairs? I can. Sojiro is here. Nah. I'm gonna make- I'm gonna watch a movie. Wow. Whoops. Oh. Hey, I'm playing Persona 3 music. They should show up by young adults set in a rich city upscale neighborhood of Bubbly Hills and playing Persona 3 music. Best Persona game in my opinion. This is the theme where you're hanging out with somebody. This is the theme that plays. Or, no, actually, actually, actually I don't remember. No, it is. It's the, the theme called Joy. And it also plays around in the hallway and then like some of your friends just come out. They come up to you and ask if you want to hang out. And this is the theme that plays. Mm. Well, if this is what high schoolers are like overseas, they'll get any ideas, alright? Hey, hey. I feel like they're desperate, uh, needs to be loved by someone. Can my charm rise up? Nope. Okay. Well then. I can't believe you guys ditched me yesterday. I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. What are you talking about? Nothing! Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And, just as expected, it's a hit. 
All we need now are the two other key words. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever key words we can come up with. Oh, it's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? I see. Candidate found. Okay, that's a hit. So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Results found. Wait a second. I have a hit. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. What? Like, the entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. Beginning navigation. of people. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a Mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Okay, let's go. In any case, let's look for a bank. There should be a huge one around here somewhere. Giant walking ATMs. Never thought I'd see that. <laughs> this is terrible. It's just, what happened to him? It looks like he's dead. We should just leave him be. Hey! Look, that person trembling over there. Do you think he's a victim? Should we talk to him? Uh... Do they say he even have mouths? Excuse me, can we? Please forgive me. What happened? I don't have any more. Please, I'm telling you, not even one yen. Cool it, we're not trying to mug you or anything. Please, I don't want it to end up like the others. Were you assaulted? <sighs> There's no doubt who's a victim, but he can't even hold a goddamn conversation. Let's try someone else. Perhaps. 
Are those? No. This is terrible. All of these are real people, right? This is effed up. I don't think we can talk to any of the ones either. Wait. Look, do you think that person's a victim too? Hey. Excuse me, can we have a word? We are. It's no use. It's all over. And I'm just like them. Where's Kanashiro? Where else? A place where he lives. No tracks. Leaves no tracks. Not that knowing what. Where it is will help you. What, do you mean? what could that mean? Hey, you gotta tell us a little more than I'm too tired. Please let me rest. That's unlike I just wasn't gonna be saying anything. Can I sure leave no tracks? Does he mean that literally or could it be figures it? Hey. Hey, why don't we go over the intel we have now? <clears throat> they have apparently fallen quite far. Wait a second, they found it from a place where Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks. Could that mean they were actually thrown down from somewhere higher up? Uh... What, what do you mean? Like a skyscraper? Uh, there are any of those around here. I don't think. No. Wait, what's that? Is that it? Up in the air. No wonder we couldn't find it. Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Can't we use the grapple? <laughs> I have. Shut it! I'm not some robot cat! I mean, I'm not a cat at all! This may be the limit of what we can do today. I gotta find a way to get up there. Well, let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? Alright, we should get out of here for now. Run for it! I have a new mystery for Oya. Evening. A woman who reeks of alcohol. You free? Yeah. All right, I have a bit of advice for you. It's about that Kanashiro guy. He's more dangerous than I thought. The police haven't shut them down, so I dig a little deeper. Turns out he has some real shady connections. I won't say more than any of that. Shady connections. He's not someone a teenager like you should mess with. You should really back off, okay? Well, that's all I wanted to say. See ya. Proving our justice isn't going to be easy. We'd better discuss this with everyone tomorrow. Make some coffee for Sojiro. Hey. Oh. Yes, all right. Let me explain. those phantom thieves I mean if dad were still alive sorry I I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating it's okay keep going I just wonder if he would have been on their side that's all the only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else it's not you don't have to do a single thing and you're provided with food clothes a home I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. 
Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Uh, all I was trying to say was... Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. <sighs> Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. Yo, oh, dang, okay. <laughs> oh, she just wanted to ask a question. She just... <laughs> I just remembered. Just scolded her. Oh, no, we got this situation. I've been seeing a lot of uh, shows on TV lately about the Phantom Thieves of Heart. Just wonder, why bother stealing hearts? You can't do anything with them. You have no monetary value either. That's why we steal treasures and we sell the treasures. If I were them, I would go for something with concrete, clear value, like gold. Speaking of, there's a kind, another kind of metal that's very viable in its own way. They're called minor metals, and they're used in many electronics. In fact, most of your pocket has some of your, on your own person right now, in your pockets, or in your purse. Give me an answer. Were you listening to Kamiki Sun? Give me one example of something most of you has contained some minor metals. I mean, hey, wait. all right, let's help her out. Hey, this doesn't look good. Minor metals. Got lipstick, my smartphone. Hmm. Yeah, my smartphone. Oh yeah, she says the thing about electronics, right? Okay, I'm. So finished. the answer must be my smartphone. Yep. Correct. Precisely. A lot of minor metals are excavated in China. Some countries simply produce more than others. 90% of the minor metals used in Japan are imported. But a lot of the recyclable trash we throw away contains minor metals too. In other words, a junkyard is much more viable than someone else's heart. Thanks! You're welcome. Nice. 